Hi guys, it's Toy. Let's have a quick update. So, um, I skipped a month again. Um, not really. I mean, I just forgot to post last month. So this is my update on my reading challenge. This is going to be telling you what I read in August and in September. And I'll be giving you some other updates involved with some of that stuff. So um, let's see what I got going here. Let's see if I can share my screen. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, here we go. So here is where I am with my reading challenge. Um, I am 86% through. I'm four books ahead of schedule, which is pretty good. Um, I'm going to take it easy in the month of December, and I think dedicate that month to reading picture books outside of the two books that I'll be reading for the IWSG book club. So um, I've been in that book club for a while. We changed some things around recently where we are now going to be reading books exclusively from members of that group. So, and there's lots of members of that group, so lots of books to choose from. There'll be two titles that we'll be picking each month to highlight for that book club. And I don't know that I'll read both books um, every month, but I'm gonna try, you know? Uh, so let's look at what I read in August and September. Let's see here. I read Fey Realm, I gave this, um, uh, 3.75, but it's listed as a four star. And this was a book about uh, fairy tales. And I'll go through my review further in my review video. Like I said, this is just a quick update. Uh, so yeah, I also read Fast and Furious Short Fiction. This was a collection of short stories. The Fey Realm were kind of short stories too, but the review will go in more detail on that. And um, Cool thing about this short story collection, it is actually tying into a novel that I read as an arc that just, is, I think, is recently released. So I'm going to be writing the review for that very soon. And that'll be hopefully be coming out in my next video, even though it's something I read a long time ago. Uh, let's see here. Restoration. This was a five-star read. I'm not a huge horror fan, but I love this author. Everything that she's written, pretty much, I've loved. So um, you can see a little bit of the review here, but I'll do more in the next video. And then Casa Dark, um, Restoration and Casa Dark were both arc reads for me. So these books are not out yet. Restoration will be coming out very soon. Casa Dark won't be until next year, but I already love it. So there's that. Um, and then for um, September, I actually read um, two anthologies. Both of those anthologies were from the IWSG um, community. And the first one was Parallels. Felix was here. This was a um, kind of um, alternate reality um, um, <laughs> anthology. I gave it an overall star rating of four. The review will go more in depth. And then the other anthology that I read from IWSG was a um, mystery kind of crime anthology, but with the theme of time. And I ended up giving that one a five star. So like I said, this is just a quick update video, getting you caught up on the last two months because I got behind again. And, um, but it looks like I'm gonna, you know, meet my challenge this year. As you can see, I met my goal in 2019, but in 2020, I did not meet my goal. But 2020 was the year that the world stopped, <laughs> you know, the whole pandemic, whatever. That was the first and only year that I didn't um, complete my challenge. And I'm totally fine with that. So this was my quick update um, explaining to you kind of what I read and maybe hopefully what will be coming down the road. So please um, stick around. I'm going to be recording my review video right after this. So um, I always do the update videos for people who want shorter content. If you want the longer content, that's coming up. Stay safe, guys. Bye.